Mate Rev, welcome. Today is Monday, 24th of October. Yes. Welcome. Start of a new day. Start of a new week. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, and uh, have you been? Good. Well, what a weekend. Yes. Well, where am I? Yes, uh, well, <laughs> I've got to go to uh, have my blood test. So I have been fasting. So I haven't had anything to eat or drink since 8 o'clock last night. So um, I've got to have my blood test. And um, then I could go to the podiatrist. Yeah. Doctor's orders. <laughs> so, let's see how I go with the blood test. Uh, this is for the diabetes, of course. I do have diabetes. A type 2, that is. So there's no insulin. Um, there's no medication. So this is sort of over the borderline sort of thing. You know, You know, it's hard to... It's hard to... Um, well, some people think... Uh, may not they may not have diabetes it's it's a silent it's a silent uh, symptom really uh, some people just don't feel it don't know they have a diabetes but yeah well I don't feel it but until I've been tested with blood tests and they say you you've got diabetes hmm I guess it's a warning sign I guess too um, a warning sign for um, to get to type 1 sort of thing, you know, with insulins and things like that, so, um, it's not, it's not overly diabetes, I guess, but, <laughs> but just got to be careful what I eat and what I drink and a bit of exercise, keep, keep up with the exercises, yes, <laughs> keep fit, so anyway, I'll catch you soon. What's that? <laughs> What is it? It's a bag. Oh, yes. What's in it? Now, I've just come out of from Dorovich having a blood test. And uh, I've got a... Um, this thing. We have a bottle. An empty bottle. Yes. What's the empty bottle for? Oh, yes. It's for the urine. 24-hour urine collection. <laughs> so she wants to get a sample out of me. <laughs> 12 hours, yes. So I've got to take it at 7 o'clock in the morning. And, um, and then another bit of a pee, 7 o'clock that night. So I can take it back on the Wednesday morning. So, yeah. To see if the, I don't know, see if there's any blood in the urine or anything like that. I think that's what it is. Um, that's if there's blood in the urine. I mean, it probably be, might have something like with prostate cancers or something like that. I don't think I have cancer. I doubt that very much. Anyway, I'm hungry. And I've been fasting, so let's go to Macca's. Yeah. I'm, hang I'm hanging out for it. <sighs> That's better. Yes. I just had breakfast. <laughs> yes. At Macca's. Yes. So I had uh, hot cakes. Hot cakes and a coffee. Yes. That's my favourite. Breakfast at Macca's. McDonald's has hot cakes. Yes. I love them. Yeah. I feel good now. So that's good. Now, a bit of nourishment. So, next, next uh, point of call is the podiatrist. I've never been to the I've never been treated at the podiatrist before, so um, it's the first time, so I don't know what they're going to expect. So, um, we'll see how we go. I'll let you know. Uh, now, at the podiatrist, what's it called? The Northeast Podiatrist. Yes. And uh, now I've just got, I had to make an appointment, so um, you didn't see me yet, so i um, make an appointment for 11th of November. That's the day before my birthday. <laughs> yes. So, that'll be all good. Yes. Well, it's all to do with the feet, you know. Um, this is the first time I've ever been to the podiatrist, 
and uh, because I do a lot of walking, especially bush walking when I do my bushland adventures. So, um, you know, the feet just got to be checked over. It's, yeah, why not? So that's it. Let's go home. It's absolutely raining outside. <coughs> yeah. Me, Trev. Today is Saturday. Saturday, 22nd of October. Welcome. And um, it's a rainy day today. Wet and it's pouring actually. So, um, yes. I love, I love summer rip ball. It's not summer yet. <laughs> Spring rain, let me pull it that way. Yes. Oh, hear a siren. That stopped. Oh, ambulance. Not very far away. <laughs> hey, all been Good. Yes, and it's beautiful weather out there. And uh, it's rain. And, uh, yeah. So how was your day so far in the morning? It's morning, actually. Late in the morning, really. And um, I've been on radio, actually. Oak FM, Wangaratta. Wangaratta, 101.8. 3 FM Oak FM Wangaratta Tune in Yeah And thank you Joe For uh, interviewing me on uh, Thursday night That was Thursday night And um, and also on Friday Which was yesterday um, During the afternoon Half past 12 uh, Donna McQueen comes on Donna, thank you Donna And uh, I mean Donna plays a very She's got a very good program Playing Aussie country music and lots of poems and a bit of comedy as well. So um, she does. She's, she's got a great program, and uh, that's the way it should be. You know, run your run uh, Australian music. That's the way to go. So um, she loved my new CD, of course, My Space of Time. So uh, it's a beautiful album. I mean, that that album is all about me, really. Uh, my Space of Time. I mean, it portrays the times like. 48 years of my career, music career, since I took up the guitar when I was 13 years of age in 1974, Christmas Day, when I got my first guitar. And um, so, I mean, there's, there's been a lot of water under the bridges, really, uh, since then. I mean, I've done so much over the years, done a lot of travelling, a lot of touring, um, doing gigs, performing and recording a lot of uh, songs over the years. So it's a real blessing, really. So, um, and I'm, look, I'm not far from being 61 years of age, so that's next month. So how much more space have I got left in my life? Well, 
we'll see what happens. We'll see just come what may, it really is. I mean, I don't set waves. I don't make waves. Um, I just take things as they come. Yeah. So, uh, life is... Life is there. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll probably give myself another... I don't know, another uh, four to five years with my music and that's it. Go for retirement. By the time I get to 67 years of age, um, I'll probably be retired, most likely. So, if I live that long, <laughs> until then, <laughs> I'm sure I will. Yes, I'm sure I will. And now, of course, now I've got some bad news and good news. Well, I mean, sad news and good news. Now, the good news, well, let's say with the sad news. The bad news, sad news... Um, Got to cut back my social media a little bit. Cutting back, yeah. So, of course, at the end of the year, or start of the new year, um, I'll no longer be putting anything up on Instagram. Instagram, on Instagram account. Um, I won't be adding anything on there, and eventually it will disappear. Instagram, goodbye in the new year. So, I'm still open right till the end of the year. So, I will still be with um, Trev's Bushland Adventures, still go ahead with that, and also my music channel. So, hopefully I'm trying to um, add some more um, music videos on there. And um, Facebook, I'll still always be on Facebook. Um, so, that's that. Just cutting back social media a little bit. And don't forget, get on to soundcloud.com. Soundcloud.com. Um, Trevor Dawson 7 that's the figure 7 that's the uh, I suppose they call it a handle or something like that I don't know <laughs> um, so that's it you'll see some tracks on that listen to them some really good songs so I'll get on there I hope you're having a great day mate hey, Trev welcome today is Sunday 23rd of October where am I? yes I'm back at Banella good old banana and um, that's just been to the cheapest tip store yeah which is over there great store yeah and um, just waiting for that car to go past me so I didn't want to photograph it <laughs> film it cheapest chips yeah why not Yes, bought some bargains. Great shop. Every time I come to Benalla, I, I go to that store. <laughs> yes. And um, anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's very cloudy, but it's, it's nice. It's nice and humid. It's just nice. Of course, Benalla had did have floods, and I believe it's all sort of going down now, So, which is good. So I got to here safely. And I feel sorry for the, you guys in Ichuka. Ichuka, good old Ichuka, yes. Um, everybody's banding together to sandbag and to stop the flooding. So it's pretty bad. I probably I reckon it's one of the worst for quite a long time. Worst flood. And Kerrang, a place called Kerrang is in the firing line. Okay, you've got to be, embrace yourselves. Of course, the Murray River, you know, has to flow from the mountains all the way through to to Mildura, you know, so, mm.
proud of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just learning a new song I've just written actually, and it's called Time to Move Along. Time to move along. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Get rid of the old and bring on the new. Yes. So that's that's my next project. Here, yeah, time to move along. And, um, of course, I'm working on, still working on the album, Sign of the Times, which um, will come out late sometime in the new year. And um, this is the last track, the final track of that album. So, um, time to move it along. Yes. So, I'm excited. I just finished one song called No Money. Song called No Money. Remember that one? Yeah. I mentioned the uh, sometime uh, back about no money. This old guy's got no money. Nothing in the bank. <laughs> Nothing. So he goes scrounging around, scrounging around in rubbish bins looking for food. It's a true story. I've, got, I've seen a guy do that in Adelaide <laughs> one time when I was touring over there. And uh, yeah. So um, anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog and I um, hope you enjoy it. And um, of course, um, and. Um, Yes, I've got to do that urine test. Urine. Um, so that's got to go in there. It's got to be handed in on Wednesday. So, um, and uh, I've got to go to the podiatrist on the 11th of November. That's booked. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. And of course, next week, well, this weekend coming, um, I'll be doing some filming at the Hovel Dam for my Trevor's Bushland Adventures. So that'll be up um, in the next couple of weeks. So that's weather, depending on the weather, depending on the floods, really. If I can get through, hopefully there's no flood. At the moment, it should be all right. It should be okay. But you just don't know out there. And those poor people who haven't um, are really, are really taking it very, very hard with the flood waters in Ichuka and also Kerrang are really embracing themselves. Um, places like Kahuna, um, Kundruk, I think. Um, a lot of those places all up Swan Hill and Mildura, they're going to walk on a cop it eventually, maybe. Who knows? And uh, so a big shout out to all you guys in Ichuka. Yes. So, anyway, until next time, Create Harmony, peace, bye. You never know what I get up to next. I love playing this piano. And don't forget the Railway Hotel in Wangaratta this Wednesday night. There's an open mic. I'm going to be performing there. Yes, performing. See you there.